Meanwhile, the expected temperatures are forcing a lot of outdoor events to adapt now. Organizers are taking the safety of both the participants and any spectators into account now. News Center Maine's Sam Rogers fills us in. The first weekend of February usually looks like this out on Mesolonsky Lake in Sydney. Dozens of teams lacing up the skates and competing in the main pond hockey classic. It may be hard to believe now, but tournament founder Patrick Garrett says until recently, this spot wasn't ready. She didn't have enough ice at this site here, and we were going to hold the event uh, this weekend at another site. But it'll be too cold for even hockey this weekend, so organizers push back the pond hockey tournament to next weekend, giving Garrett and his team a little extra time to get the ice ready in Sydney. When you're building a home rink, that's one thing, but when you're trying to make ten, you know, 10 rinks on a, on a lake, there's a lot more factors. They will flood the ice and then take advantage of the upcoming Arctic temps to help smooth over the rinks. And they're still looking for more teams to skate on them. We actually reopened registration uh, until this Friday. I'm going to do the schedule this weekend, so I have to know how many teams are playing. So if you're you know, looking to get into the tournament last minute, uh, your next weekend's open for you. So the Lodge in Sydney will have to wait another week for skaters. And this pond hockey tournament isn't the only winter activity adapting to this weekend's weather. We have pivoted once again and uh, we are holding the races, but it'll be a one day event. Here you go. The 32nd U.S. Toboggan Championships at the Camden Snow Bowl will now be held just on Sunday. Holly Anderson is the co-chair of the event and says races will start at 8 a.m. Because of the weather issues, the toboggan shoot will be in a new spot this year on the hill. However, the crowds are expected to be the same. Come hell or high water, they're going to they're get to Camden to race. The races will go on, but people are asked to keep pets at home. Events at ski areas may also be pushed back this weekend. Saddleback will assess the conditions and update skiers soon. And despite the cold, Lost Valley and Sugarloaf will be open for business, ready to adjust if necessary. Mother Nature is proving she's in charge around here, but Mainers are used to working around her schedule, and this weekend is no different. Sam Rogers, New Center, Maine.